praise the Lord. It is a wonderful time that the Lord has made and we thank him for his grace and his love and the gift of salvation that he has given unto us. This is uh, Pastor Maggie Juma Barasa from Abadant Grace Revival Ministries, Kitale, the headquarters of this ministry in Kitale region. And uh, we thank God for this time that he has given unto us. I welcome all of us unto the Grace Hour uh, Fellowship and uh, I ask us to pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We honor you. We lift your name. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time and wonderful moment that you've made that, my Father, we may share your word. Lord, I pray that as I bring your word to your people, may you follow it and perform it. And, my Father, may you magnify your power in their lives. Lord, I pray for your healing upon each and every one of us that is listening to this word this evening. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My greetings to the HRM family. God bless you so much. Thank you for listening, to, for tuning in. Thank you all our online viewers. May the Lord bless you for being here and listening to the word of God. Thank you so much. Allow me to bring unto us the word of God uh, from the book of 2 Kings. Chapter number 2, verse 19 to 22. The Bible says, Then the men of the city said to Elisha, Please notice, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is bad, and the ground is barren. And he said, Bring me a new bowl, and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out to the source of the water and cast in, in the salt there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remains healed to this day, according to the word of Elisha, which he spoke. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible tells us about... Uh, this water, a, a city, a city that was pleasant in the eyes of the men, that was pleasant to anyone that could see it. Everyone that could see this city could love it, could want to live there, could think this is the best place to be. But the people and the men of that city knew there was a problem in that city. Praise the name of Jesus. So they knew the solution to this problem lies in the hands of the servant of God, who was a prophet by the name Elisha. So the Bible says, and the men of the city, they came unto the servant of God, and they told him, as much as this city is pleasant, as much as you see it, it is beautiful, but the water is bad, and the ground is it is barren, it is unproductive. We cannot harvest anything. We cannot plant anything. Nothing is productive on this land. So they laid the situation of that city before the servant of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. And then the Bible says, the servant of the Lord told them to bring a bowl to, and to put salt in it. Praise the name of Jesus. He was very specific. He said, bring unto me a new bowl and put some salt in it. The Bible says when they brought it to him, he went to the source of the water and cast in the salt there and said, thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. Praise the name of Jesus. So this servant of God, the prophet Elisha, was the mouthpiece of God. He declared what the Lord was speaking to him. He declared what came from the Lord God Almighty. He spoke the mind of God to the people and to the land and to the source of the water. So the Bible says, and he said, this is what the Lord says. The Lord says, he has healed this water 
and it, there shall be no more death or barrenness. And the Bible says the healing over that water was not temporal. It was everlasting. It was an everlasting solution. It was a permanent solution that brought to an end every barrenness in that city, every barrenness in that land, and every unproductiveness. It came to an end because of the word of God. Hallelujah. Today, I'm here to tell you, to bring unto you this word of God, to tell you the Lord is doing a new thing and it shall be permanent. Praise the name of Jesus. Maybe you have had a problem. You have lived in that state for too long until you became used to it and people knew you by that problem. They refer to you by the problem. They say, uh, I'm going or I met that woman, the woman that begs for bread, the woman that talks too much, the woman that becomes ill so often. They have even given you a name. Praise the name of Jesus. And even some of us, we are sometimes when we meet people, people admire us. They say, oh, this one is well off, better this person. I would like to live like her. But in the secret places, there are things that are disturbing you. There is some unproductivity in the secret places. There is barrenness in your secret life. The Lord says today in the name of Jesus, he is going to do a new thing. He is going to, pr to, to bring your pleasantness unto fulfillment in the name of Jesus. It shall be permanent. It shall not be temporal. You will not be happy today and tomorrow you are crying about the same thing. No, the Lord is bringing a permanent solution. A solution that will affect and affect your generation. A solution that will affect and affect even your neighbors and everyone everyone that comes in contact with you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter number 138 verse 8 that the Lord will perfect all that which concerns me. So today I pray in the name of Jesus that may the Lord perfect everything that concerns you. Everything that has a tag of your name on it, it is going to be perfected. You are going to walk in perfect health. You are going to walk in perfect wealth. You are going to walk in perfect salvation. You are going to walk in perfect ways because the Lord God Almighty is perfecting everything that concerns you. You are children. You are not going to, uh, to, to mourn over your children again. They are not going to give you sleepless nights. You will rejoice over your children. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it has taken. This thing, it took long. The city was barren. It took a long time. Praise the name of Jesus. And uh, it needed this was a problem that was spiritual. It needed a spiritual, uh, a spiritual approach, and it needed a, a servant of God that was strategically blessed by God at such a time because of this need. Praise the name of Jesus. And because uh, there is a structure that might have been built in the spiritual realm by a certain spiritual authority. So it needed a spiritual authority to deal with it. Praise the name of Jesus. And this would later lead to the manifestation of the restoration in the physical, an everlasting solution. It will lead to the manifest, to manifest the restoration of the productivity of the land. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this land that is being uh, spoken about here, the Bible says uh, that uh, uh, Joshua uh, cast this land because of Achan. And because Achan had stolen things that were supposed not to, not to be kept in the camp of the Israelites. And when he found out, the Bible says, uh, he went before the Lord and the Lord told him, I have seen things that are not supposed to be in your midst. That is why your enemies are defeating you. That is why you can see that problem. And the law and the Bible says, and Joshua called the people and threw lots, and the Lord fell on Achan. And the Bible says, and he asked him, tell me the truth. Have you kept anything 
uh, from us? Have you kept anything that was not supposed to be in this tent? And he said yes. And Joshua dealt with that thing. And the Bible says when he went to war, he destroyed that city. And uh, he won that battle because the Lord was with him and the Lord was on his side. And he said, whosoever shall rebuild this city, shall rebuild it with the firstborn and shall establish it with the lastborn. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is why the Bible says, uh, the Bible says in the book of, uh, uh, the Bible says in the book of Second Kings, uh, First Kings, Chapter number 16, verse 34. The Bible says, In his days, Hiel of Bethel built Jericho. He laid its foundation with Abiram, his firstborn, and with his youngest son, he set up its gates, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken through Joshua, the son of Nun. Praise the name of Jesus. This man called Hiel, paid the price for rebuilding uh, the, the structure physically. He paid the price that the prophet of God declared and placed a demand, but he did not uh, repair the, the spiritual uh, structure. He did not uh, bring back the spiritual productivity of that land. So it needed a spiritual authority to restore the productivity of the land because if he did it and he laid the foundation by giving by the life of his firstborn son and then he established the gates by the death of his lastborn then why were the waters uh, not uh, good why was the land not productive if that was the case it could have been it could have ended the time he gave that sacrifice praise the name of jesus the time he paid the price it could have ended, but it did not end because this was a spiritual issue that was declared by a spiritual man of God and it needed a, a spiritual authority to silence it, to remove it. Oh my God, praise the name of Jesus, to declare that that land will be free from any uh, any evil and any unproductivity. So the Lord raised his servant, Elisha. And Elisha came and he said, though this city was rebuilded, though this city is pleasant, but this city has a problem. The men of the city reported to him and he knew the city had a problem. However much they tried uh, it did not bring any, it, it did not avail to anything. They did not reap anything. Nothing was fruitful. Whatever they planted, they could not harvest. The water, they could not drink because the water was bad. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The water was bad. The ground was barren. The life of the people was unbearable. The animals could not drink that water. The river was good. The water was flowing, but it was not good. It was bad. It was unpleasant. Praise the name of Jesus. So it needed the voice uh, of a prophet to bring back life to normal in the name of Jesus. You need a voice of a prophet to bring things back to normal in your life. Things are somehow working. You are taking your children to the best schools, but they perform poorly. Some of them drop out of school. Some of them, oh my God, they don't finish school. Why? Why? And you are even paying all the school fees. Yes, the school is pleasant, but there is something in the secret places that is not working for you. The Lord has send me tonight to tell you he is doing a new thing unto you the people of this city who are somehow used to this water every time they could wake up they knew that water is bad I cannot drink that water that water this land cannot produce anything but by the word of the prophet when he spoke to this uh, source when he released the word of God to the source to the source of this stream the Bible says the water was healed and the water remains healed up to today the Lord is doing a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus praise the King of glory we might build good houses 
but inside of those houses people may rejoice when they see you they say ah this one is better off look at this house this house is beautiful but in real sense the occupants of that house the people staying in that house they rarely sleep they are tormented by evil spirits they are tormented by wicked people by witches they don't sleep by people full of jealousy they don't sleep they don't have any peace people even uh, end up divorcing they build good houses but the husband and the wife cannot live in peace they end up divorcing because of the evil powers because of the evil things that people have spoken over your property today in the name of jesus the lord god almighty is doing a new thing the word of god says we shall build houses and we shall live in them we shall not build for other people to live in them i'm here to tell you the lord is doing a new thing whatever the devil is trying to do in your marriage in your life the lord is doing a new thing the lord is reversing it the lord is releasing his word to the source of that problem, to the source of that evil, to the source of what is troubling you. And he is bringing healing and it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. He is doing a new thing. People that are used to you, you are begging, you are, uh, you are lack. People know that when you go to them, you are going to beg for money. Today, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, the Lord is turning around the the tables for you. The Lord is overturning the tables for someone tonight in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, you shall lend and you shall not borrow. People will come for you. People will look for you. People will borrow money from you. You will lend to nations. You will not borrow. You will not die in debts in the name of Jesus. The Lord is doing a new thing in the mighty name of Jesus. He has promised. The word of God says in the book of Isaiah, Chapter number 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. I'm here to tell you of the good things that are springing forth from to, from this hour in the name of Jesus. The Lord is releasing new things. The Lord is opening new doors. I'm here to tell you of them that the Lord is able to do exceedingly above of what we ask of him. The Lord is able. And the Bible says, and with him all things are possible. It is possible. The Lord is turning life around for you. The Lord is making things happen for you. The Lord is making things work for you. The Lord is making things to work in your favor. That case is going to be ruled in your favor. God is turning around things. The Lord is doing a new thing. It is not like yesterday. You are not going to depend on the victory of yesterday because today the Lord has said he is doing a new thing the former things have come to pass you are paying everything that you have been passing through the bible tells us in in that isaiah 42 9 that the former things have passed away it is just history now the lord is doing a new thing in the mighty name of jesus the bible says in Isaiah chapter number 43 verse 18 to 19 do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it I'll make I'll even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert praise the name of Jesus just the way he made this land productive he is going to make a river in the desert for you he is going to make a road in the wilderness for you it is not a, a, a hard thing to him he made a, a way for the children of Israel in the midst of the storm in the midst of the sea they passed it through on a dry land hallelujah he is going to do it for you just trust in him that he is doing a new thing he is redirecting your life he is redirecting your ministry he is redirecting your family he is redirecting your children. He is reconstructing, hallelujah, your life again. He will reconstruct your family again. It doesn't matter how much the devil has shattered down your family. The Lord God Almighty is going to reconstruct that family.
family in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty is going to realign your children to the word of God. The Lord God Almighty is going to touch the lives of your children. They will never be the same again. They will worship your God. They will love your God. They will say you carry a big God because the Lord God Almighty is doing a new thing. We shall not testify of the past of the old. The Lord is giving us new testimonies because he is doing a new thing. Let us believe in him. He has sent me to you tonight to tell you that he is doing a new thing. The past is gone. Everything in the past, it is sealed in the past. But now from this hour, he is doing a new thing. And the Bible says, it will spring forth. This thing that the Lord is going to do for you, it can never be predicted by anyone in the name of Jesus. No one will know how and when it is going to come. The Lord is going to shock people because of the thing, the special thing that he is going to to do for you because it will just spring forth despite the, the storm that you are passing through despite the hardships that you are going through it doesn't matter your present uh, situation but what I'm here to tell you to, today is that the Lord is doing a new thing and it will just spring forth it will not nobody will say this is the way it happened Be you are going to make it through because the lord will cause it to happen it is the lord that knows the way that he will use he will cause it to happen my dear brethren he is going to make a way for you do not lose hope he is doing a new thing it will just spring forth unexpectedly you will see it people will see it because it will not be nobody will be able to stand against what the Lord is going to do nobody will be able to resist what the Lord is going to do in your life nobody is going to resist that move in your ministry nobody is going to resist the blessings that the Lord is going to release over your family in the name of Jesus I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus that may you see may you perceive what the Lord is going to do may you see may the Lord give you the strength may the Lord lengthen your days that you may see the new thing that he is going to do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus in the Bible in the in the book of Isaiah in the in the book of Isaiah 48 verse 6 and 7 the Bible records you have heard see all this and you will and will you not declare it I have made you hear new things from this time even hidden things and you did not know them they are created now and not from the beginning and before this day you have not heard them lest you should say of course i knew them hallelujah the lord is saying he will not do something that you know about he is going to do a new thing a very very new thing a thing that you have not heard a thing that you have not seen so that you cannot say i knew it will happen even your enemies will be got unawares while they think you are uh, you are perishing in that storm while they think that you are overtaken and overwhelmed the bible says the lord is going to do a new thing and they will not say ah we knew it because it will just spring forth the lord is doing it at his own time the bible says the lord says at my appointed time i will make it happen and this is the time and this is the hour and this is the moment the lord is doing a very new thing a thing that has never been heard of a thing that no one knows about a thing that nobody will give the formula praise the name of jesus they look for the formula they'll ask you how did it happen and you will say it happened because the lord is the one that did it i don't know how it was i don't know how i made it i don't know how i made it, it through but the lord caused it to happen it is the hand of god it is the will of god it is the power of god that is how you are going to answer and the lord is giving you a new testimony the lord is giving you a new song you will not sing about your problems you will not sing about failures failure is not your portion and Lord Longer because the Lord says he is doing it this time this very hour this hour that you are listening to me the Lord is doing it he is 
bringing it to accomplishment. He is making it happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Allow me to pray for you tonight. I know the Lord, him who has promised, is able to do it. Just put your trust in him. The Bible says, our Lord God Almighty is not man to lie. He will do it for you. Do not be discouraged. Do not lose hope. Do not listen to the noises that are surrounding you. Do not listen to the names that people are calling you. Do not listen to the noises around. The Lord is doing a new thing. Your testimony will speak for you. The way he did it for Hannah, he will do it for you. The way he did it for Sarah, he will do it for you. The way he delivered Daniel from the den of lions, he will deliver you. He is doing a new thing. He is ruling everything to your a favor in the name of Jesus. Shalom, shalom. Allow me to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I bring everyone that has heard your word unto you. I cover them and I saturate their lives in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I pray that my Father, you are turning things around for them in the name of Jesus. You are causing a new thing to happen in their lives. Father, you are bringing to an end every bitterness, every barrenness, every badness in their lives. You are bringing it to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. You are changing things in their lives. Lord, your people will not languish in poverty. Your people will not languish, oh my father, in debts. You are paying every debt for them. Unawa Hamisha, you are moving them from that muddy house. You are moving them to a permanent structure. You are healing them permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. The way you heal the waters, oh Lord, may you heal their lives. May you heal that marriage. May you bring to an end every conflict. May you bring to an end every inversion of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I speak stability in that family. I speak stability in the lives of those young men and young ladies. I speak stability in their education. I speak success in their exams. They will succeed in the name of Jesus. I release the word of God. I release the power of God. The way the servant of God, Elisha, released the word of God at the source of the problem. Lord, I release your word at every source of every problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word change everything. Let there be springs of sweet waters from the souls of your children. My God and my Father, I pray that you are giving them a new testimony. You are giving them a new song. They will sing a new song. They will sing praises to you. They will love you. They will serve you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. No more oppression from the enemy. No more manipulation from evil people. No more manipulation from evil hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil and demonic prayers being made by evil people against the lives of your children. I cancel them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, may you turn everything around for good the way you did it for Joseph. You are doing it for your servants to the glory of your name. I bless you, Lord, and I honor you for this is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. May the Lord bless you, wonderful viewers. May the word of the Lord build you. May you trust in the Lord. He will do a new thing. May he give you a new testimony in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.